first episode in my five episode series reviewing the Mission Impossible movies leading up to Fallout. Hope you enjoyed it. So uh, from here on out, there will be a spoiler warning. Uh, there's going to be a spoiler review, seeing as the movie is 22 years old. Uh, if you haven't seen it, go try to find it somewhere, watch it, and then come back and listen to my review. Mission Impossible is a 1996 movie starring Tom Cruise. It's the first one in the Mission Impossible series, and I think it's a great movie. It hasn't aged perfectly, but I still think it's a very watchable and very fun movie with a lot of twists and turns. So the movie has a lot of good, the movie has some bad, but first let's talk about the good. So I'm pretty sure you know this, but Mission Impossible stars Tom Cruise as Ethan Hunt, he's in all of them, and John Voight as Jim Phelps, who was the protagonist of the original uh, Mission Impossible series, uh, the TV show from back in the 60s, and they brought him back. And there's just a myriad of other characters, Ving Rhames, Knife Dude, uh... I really like the cast. I think they all do a good uh, job performing their roles. And I like the overall plot of the movie. The plot of the movie is uh, Ethan Hunt's team, they're all, they all die in the first 20 minutes or so. Maybe a little longer, maybe a little shorter. I don't know, but they all, they all kick the bucket. And Ethan Hunt is being hunted. Seriously though, Ethan Hunt is being hunted, so he gathers up a crew so he can steal the knock list. I forget what knock stands for, but it's something important to spies or something, whatever. It's an interesting plot line, so he goes to steal the knock list so he can clear his name. But this plot line leads to one of my favorite, most iconic scenes in cinema history. Ethan Hunt is dangling down from an air ventilation shaft, and if he touches the floor, an alarm goes off so if, if anything touches the floor a drop of sweat anything so as he's down there trying to steal the knock list on a hard drive you can see the sweat coming off his glasses and he's like oh crap so he has to catch it it doesn't sound that great when i'm describing it but believe me if you've seen it you know how awesome the scene is but yeah they go through all this trouble to find the knock list and then later on in the movie, Ethan finds out that Jim Phelps is actually alive and is behind the death of the rest of the crew and is the main bad guy of the movie. And I thought that was a good twist. If you like it or not, it's whatever. I thought it was a great twist. What a twist! And another one of my favorite scenes ever is the helicopter flying through the train tunnel trying to get Ethan. It's... A great scene, and when the helicopter crashes, the helicopter blade just spinning around, just barely misses Ethan's throat. I've seen it several times. I know Ethan's going to be okay, because there's four other movies so far, about to be a fifth one. And I still think, oh, don't die, or something like that. It's, I don't know, the scene's just really intense, and I love it. Now, one more thing that I like about it, uh is that I'm not sure, but I don't think there were that many gunshots in the movie because the four other ones beside this, those are action movies. This one is just purely a spy thriller, and I really like that part. Now, the only real bad part that I found about this movie is just sort of a dumb thing that I can think of right now. It's a... Uh, how Jim Phelps faked his own death. I mean, I like the whole twist, but seriously, he made it look like someone was shooting him by taking a camera and doing that. Like, he points a gun at himself and just and shoots and then takes a can of, like, fake blood and just splashes it on him. It was just... It didn't really seem like that smart of a thing to do for the leader of the Impossible Mission Force. It just... It didn't really seem like that's something that would actually happen. Just one more thing on the negative side. 
Like I said before in the review, it hasn't aged perfectly, but I don't think that's a huge knock on the film. I think it's still a really good movie. But yes, like I said before, this is a spy movie, not an action movie. And it's a really good spy movie too. And to start out a franchise that just keeps getting better with everyone, except for two, I'll review that later. Uh, this is a really good movie. I'd give it a 9.5 out of 10. Thank you for uh, listening and watching my review. Uh, my review of Mission Impossible 2 will either come out later today or tomorrow. So please like, subscribe if you want to. Leave a comment below, tell me what you thought about the movie, and I will see you next time.